Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing my client Vanessa's nails and we're skipping the prep. I don't know why I chose to skip the prep, but we are. We've skipped the prep. We've moved right on to application. We've even skipped the base coat, but the base coat is down there as you can see. But we're going right in with color application. This is a mystery mani that I was doing on Vanessa. Um, I have multiple Vanessas, just so you guys aren't confused because each Vanessa's hands look a little bit different. Um, Sorry, I just got an email from my allergy clinic. I just went and had allergy testing done and then I realized that I wasn't tested for bee stings and so I emailed them um, asking if I was or if I could get that and they just replied, sorry. So anyways, this is uh, Au Natural and White, both by the gel bottle. Actually, maybe the white has a name. Daisy, maybe it's called? I can't remember. Um, the white by the gel bottle is fine. It's not my favorite. If you're looking for a really good full coverage white, I would recommend the one from Stellar Gel or the one by, I've used the Vanta from Divock and that's available at Sweetie Nail Supply. I am a brand ambassador for Sweetie Nail Supply so you can get 10% off your order by using code Rebecca at checkout. What I'm doing here is just applying a matte coat to all the nails because today is an airbrush set big airbrush day. I know you guys have been asking for more airbrush content. I do have plans of making more airbrush content. Um, I want to do like a full breakdown video of like what I use, products, equipment, all that kind of thing. Different kind of like techniques, even though I feel like I'm still winging it a little bit. Um, I think there's a good portion of art that in general just is winging it, so I suppose that checks out. But I do use the one air paints the link to where I buy them is available in my bio as well or my description bar I get them from glam nails again I am a brand ambassador for them you can use code Rebecca for 10% off if you're in the States or elsewhere I'd recommend going there if you're in Canada I'd recommend buying from real hot girl nails why am I always confused if that's correct anyways I'll have hers linked down below she's in Canada as well so you just avoid the um, taxes and duties sorry but she does price in USD so keep a heads up on that but I am using some airbrush stencils today I'm using some little French tips I was gonna hand paint the French tips on the set but I wanted the red to be the exact same as all the other nails so I'm just airbrushing them on depending on the nail size I think French tip stencils can be really great and really fun but I you have to have a good fit of your stencils on the nails for them to turn out well if that makes sense because sometimes they don't reach sidewall to sidewall you know the drill but uh then i'm going back in now with white airbrush paint and i'm using my little star stencils and i'm just going around the very edges of the stencil so i'm laying my stencil down and then really not trying to paint on the nail i'm just trying to hit the very very edge of where the cutout is and you can see that gives that effect, very soft effect. In the middle, you get a crisp edge, but a very soft effect in the middle of the nail. So you still get to see a bit of what's going on underneath. So you get a bit of that red airbrush below. And I am leaving more clips in here. I heard you guys on the last video, you guys like a longer vid. So not that today's video is especially long, but I am leaving lots of clips in there. So you get to see me do things again and again. And then after airbrushing, you always want to file the free edge before you do any thing on top, basically any gel on top. Um, if you're nervous about scratching your airbrush paint because it can scratch, I would recommend right away going in with a base coat after you file the free edge and just capping everything in. I've opted to not. I'm just going in with my rhinestone gel from McCart and I'm doing a few little dollops and applying some of my little silver beads. These are my go-to ones. Uh, I get them from Amazon. They're linked in my Amazon storefront in my description if you're looking for them. And I'll, in a bit, because I, I get this question a lot, how to keep the silver beads silver and shiny. Uh, I'll show you what I do with that in just a, just a moment. But I'm going to apply those to both hands. I do really like this McCart rhinestone glue, or rhinestone gel. Um, the Jinbi Ivy Fix gel that comes in a two or comes in a jar I end up using that as well and I'm a big fan of that I like having things in kind of multi 
application method. So I like having a tube. I also like having a jar and I use them differently. But I do want to try the Ivy Fix gel that comes in the tube as well because I bet that's great. Um, I believe Sweetie Nail Supply also sells that. So this gel does have a pretty good hold so I can do multiple fingers at a time and move them around and then I just kind of go back and push them down to make sure they're in the right spot. Um, and then this is what I'm doing to secure the silverness of the beads. I'm using that rhinestone gel and I'm going back over the beads with a tiny little dollop on top of each one of the beads. And then I'm taking my little brush and I'm going around and moving the gel to completely surround the bead. But I do want to keep the majority of the gel on top of the bead because that will create a defense from your client banging their hands around and the finish wearing off. I swear this, it, yeah, it does, it does the trick. Um, now I'm going in with the base gel and just capping in that airbrush. Funny enough, my clients and I always joke, I have quite a few neuro neurodivergent clients who are very fidgety, love things on their nails because they love to touch them, which don't we all. Vanessa here. We, we always say, oh my God, you're gonna rub your nails so much, you're gonna wear the 3D off. You're gonna wear them completely flat. With this set, she actually did on one of the fingers. She touched one of the nails so much that she wore the 3D beads completely flat. I'm not even joking. I wonder, I don't think I took an after shot of it like when she had worn them down, um, but I was dying. They were completely flat. It was so funny. Uh, Okay, so now I'm applying the Monchichi stickers because this is a Monchichi set. I printed these Monchichi stickers out with my Popmart sticker printer. I talked a little bit about it in my last vlog, but I still plan to do a video all about that. So keep an eye out. We love the Pop... Did I say Popmart? Nail Pop. Nail Pop. I'm losing my marbles. Um, yeah, we love this. We love this thing. The only thing is, is the sticker paper that it prints on is white so you cut it out as best you can and then I like to usually give them like a little frame or a little border so it doesn't just seem like this big white sticker I've seen on the cartridge boxes for the nail pop printers that there's a, a box that's unchecked that says translucent but I've never seen the translucent option available neither on Amazon nor on the nail pop website so i don't know if it actually exists or it's like a, hopefully we're making this soon but if they make a translucent i will be so happy <laughs> not everything will have to have little frames but so i just went in with my ivy fix gel and i'm just uh i just painted on a little frame around the outside of my little manchichi and i'm going in with my tiny little silver beads these ones came in a little baggie and they're all mixed sizes and they were my my favorite size i use them so much and i knew i had some left but barely any and i wanted them for this set so i literally hand sorted through thousands of these beads before vanessa arrived for the set to find these tiny sizes <laughs> the dedication but i knew i wanted them so here we are we've arrived uh, but this is just a super cute way I usually will do something like this where I'm outlining with little charms like this or I'll outline with like make like a silver chrome frame. I've done a few little tutorials about that on my Instagram reels if you want to check those out. Um, but I'm happy if there's interest I'm happy to show those on here as well. Just let me know down below. And then I'm gonna sh I'm like fussing around with the shape. I could fuss around all day and still not be happy. But then I flash cure with my little diami pin cure light. This I just put in hyper speed because I'm just trying to include lots of stuff, but I don't want to bore you. Look how cute Monchichi is. Okay, Monchichi is named different things in different places. Someone in my last video commented that they're named Kiki, which I believe is in France, which is so cute. Uh, they're Monchichi in Canada. Some people say Monchichi. So what do you guys say? Do you have other names? Because I actually think they, Manchichi has three different aliases. Um, but we're big into collecting them here now. I bought one in Japan, a keychain, and it fell off of my purse. And I was like, for sure someone saw that happen and just wanted him and didn't tell me. Because <laughs> he's so cute. I was devastated. He fell off recently. It was a very sad time. 
But now I'm just going in with the bandy top coat. This is the wipe top coat. And let me tell you, I'm sorry to all my non-Canadian people. Bandy is not available at Sweetie Nail Supply unless you're Canadian. It only only works for Canadians. The the are uh, the wipe top coat though. There's the non-wipe and then there's the wipe. The wipe is so effing shiny, it's insane. Like they even show the comparison in their description bars on the Sweetie website and they show after four weeks and then the wipe one, the wipe version is so shiny. And I can tell you that it is. I just had a client come back yesterday after six weeks and her nails were basically just as glossy as they were when she left. Um, now, unfortunately, I think I got a bit of glitter in mine more recently, so haven't been using her as much, but I definitely need to get another bottle because it's so good. Like if you're Canadian, please treat yourself. If you're American, find it not on Sweetie, find it somewhere else. You will love it, I swear. And here we are. Here is the finished Monchichi set. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you think down below and I'll catch you in the next one.